about. Sounds like it hurts. Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today, guys, we're going to take a look at all of the Season 4 challenges, and I'm going to give you guys tips and tricks on how to complete them all. Now, obviously, I have no life, so I'm level 200. Every 10 levels, you unlock a new challenge for all 20 of them, and I'm going to go through and give you guys tips and tricks for them all. So, we're going to start off with Drop the Hammer and Outbreak, get 25 eliminations shortly after landing from a parachute. So this one's really easy uh if you're gonna be playing co-op it's gonna help a lot you can get a friend to hoard up a bunch of zombies in outbreak and just uh, like be under or in an area where you can drop down with a parachute and then as soon as you land kill as many as you possibly can you have about a three second window to kill as many as you can uh so obviously if you have like a uh c4 or something you can like place it down beforehand and as soon as you land blow it up things like that will help with that one really easily it's a pretty cool calling card next up is weed killer earn 10 overgrowth metals kill five or more enemies rapidly with toxic growth so if you have toxic growth upgraded all the way you have three full charges so you can place down a bunch in a row and then just run a horde of zombies into it and you should be able to complete this one literally in one game no problem Next up is Vehicular Assistance. Earn 25 Gunner Medals. Kill three or more enemies rapidly using a vehicle's weapon. So this one's pretty easy. All you want to do is get one of the dune buggies and use the turret. Now, if you're playing co-op, your friend can literally drive it and you can just be on the turret. You can also use the turret on the heavy truck as well. And it's a lot easier co-op, but if you're playing solo, you can just drive into an area and then switch the uh like where you are using the knife button while you're in the car and you'll go to the turret and then you can use that to get three kills at a time i usually like to see the metal before i stop and then i will wait until the metal disappears because sometimes for some reason you can only get one metal at a time instead of multiple next up is harvest time and outbreak collect five rewards from the rockets and the secure objective so this is the objective where the two rockets fall a and b and all you have to do is grab whatever's inside of it sometimes it's essence sometimes it's points things like that it'll be really easy next up is infra dead and all you have to do is get 500 eliminations while aiming down a thermal scope attachment now there's another challenge which i'm going to mention in a second and you can do both of them at the exact same time which is really easy Next up is Lookout Below, an outbreak kill in order with a melee finisher. So obviously an outbreak, you just want to get an order down to really low health and then knife it. And if you have your knife uh, upgrade all the way maxed out, it should be really, really easy to do. Uh, usually you want to get probably like even less than a tenth left if possible. And then you should be able to knife in like two or three knives. Not too bad. Next one is out of body experience. Use a chopper gunner or cruise missile support with five or more enemies in close proximity. So all you want to do is get a horde around you and then have all the zombies around you pop a chopper gunner or a cruise missile and you'll get this one done pretty quickly. It's not too bad. Uh, next up is gone fishing and outbreak collect 25 items from fishing. Obviously, you can just go fishing around all the different outbreak maps and you can get this one done pretty quickly. Next up is Blinded by the Light. Kill 25 enemies stunned by Healing Aura. So this one is very, very annoying. And I feel like a lot of people are having trouble with this one. So what you want to do for this one is obviously have Healing Aura. And what you want to do is let the zombies hit you and be basically inside of a horde of zombies. So they basically need to hit you. And when you activate it, you should see like 25 score on screen. If you get that score on screen, on screen that means that you stunned some of the zombies so what i did was i just had a gallo i let a couple zombies hit me pop it in a horde and just spray my gallo and try to get as many kills as possible 25 is kind of a lot so it does take a little bit of time but if you just go into a game and run healing aura you should be able to do it as long as you go like high enough or you're just playing a round based map doesn't really matter next up is hipster earn 500 critical kills while without aiming down the sights so this one's just getting headshots without aiming so if you have like a laser sight on a shotgun or something like that it'll be really easy to complete next up guys we have on a budget kill 100 enemies distracted by decoy tactical equipment using a frag or semtex so you just need to get decoy koi grenades they're 500 low tier salvage you throw it on the ground and then you can throw either 
a semtex or a frag right in the middle of the horde i recommend using a frag because it's for some reason way stronger than semtex is at least in my opinion so that one's not too bad next up is pit stop earn 100 freelancer medals kill three enemies rapidly with an equipment weapon on a vehicle or equipped weapon sorry so for this one you can drive around a motorcycle and kill three zombies to get one freelancer medal the way i did it was i was playing co-op my friend was driving a motorcycle you can also drive like an atv or a jeep rather or you could use a snowmobile as well and just go in an area where there's a bunch of zombies you can also spawn more zombies from the orda if you want a lot of zombies that also works but it wasn't really working great yesterday so i would just recommend just driving around there's always like hordes of three zombies and things like that so it's really really easy to do next up is root canal and outbreak complete five fury crystal world events so these are the crystal events where you can upgrade uh you can get an ether tool and upgrade your weapons rarity so this one's pretty easy to do they're all around on different outbreak maps uh next up is growth spurt upgrade a base weapon to pack punch level three in one purchase menu session so for this one all i did was i was doing high rounds upgrading the guns that come in the battle pass and i had like 50,000 points is that's what you need and all you have to do is like buy a weapon off the wall or get a gun from the box and just pack punch it tier one two and three right in a row and you can complete that one pretty quickly next up is a good compromise get 500 eliminations with tactical rifles so like i mentioned before with the infrared one where you have to get 500 eliminations while aiming down sights with a thermal scope you can just get a tactical rifle with a thermal scope and complete both of those at the exact same time really really easy to do especially on like a round base map you can get this one done very very quickly next up guys is he had to split kill 10 specials or elites with a tomahawk lethal equipment so these are manglers these are the mimics these are uh the tempest these are panzers anything a megaton even a megaton splits as well just throw a tomahawk to end them so just get them on low health throw a tomahawk on the uh, uh, manglers for example throw it at their arm and you'll deal a little bit more damage pretty easy next up guys is like butter kill 100 enemies with their elemental damage weakness so this is one that a lot of people have been having trouble with because it actually is kind of glitched and the only way as of right now to complete this before they patch it is what you want to do is go on die machine or I, yeah just die machine and you need play counts and you need molotov grenades molotov grenades are going to deal the most damage to the play counts sorry i can't think anyways so what you want to do is just get a bunch of play counts and you can throw the molotov at it now as far as going uh to get a lot of them at once you want to get the ether scope and it's going to spawn six dogs or play counts per part that you pick up so you can get a total of 18 and if you do it on a dog round you can get 24 and then all you want to do is run in a hallway and throw the molotov grenade in the doorway all the zombies will run through it or play counts and they will all die and you can get this one done pretty quick you do need 100 though so it will take a few games if you're going to use the method that i recommended next up is to the bitter end earn five loop pinata medals destroy the ether orb in outbreak so as you guys know there's a purple orb in outbreak and all you have to do is find it and there's like tons of locations on all the different outbreak maps you destroy it and then go to where it goes next destroy it again and then follow it for the third time and destroy it again and you should get the loop pinata metal now you want to make sure that you're using a good gun for this i recommend the gallo for example would be really good but sometimes if you use a weak weapon it actually will not track so you want to make sure you're using a strong weapon for this the gallo is basically the best gun in the game next up is staycation and round base reach round 20 without leaving the starting area so you can do this on die machine or firebase z now i did it on both of them but i would recommend firebase z definitely more because on firebase z you can buy quick revive which is super easy so you can just go ahead and buy quick revive if you've down you can kill a zombie while down in quick revive and get revived again uh and you don't have to worry about using a self revive you can also buy self revives anyways so it's just overall a lot easier and last but not least guys is my way get 1000 eliminations with a found legendary rarity weapon that you applied a blueprint to so 
as you guys know there's a blueprint system in the game where you can actually set different weapons as a blueprint so for example if you want to complete this challenge you can do it in round based or you can do it in outbreak in outbreak all you have to do is do a couple like different challenges open gold crates and if you get a legendary weapon that you have a blueprint for you can grab that weapon and then equip your blueprint in the menu or if you don't want to do that and you just want to play like diamond gene for example you can do the coffin dance easter egg and get a legendary weapon from that and then you can apply your blueprint to that and you'll be all set so anyways guys that is how to complete all of the season four zombies challenges if you have any questions you can comment them down below you can also hit me up on twitter at greg fps my name is greg fps the zombies extraordinaire and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out